what I'd like to do is invite Jackie Goner on stage, because I think she makes a much better Samus than I do. So we're going to have Jackie come on and play some Metroid Prime 3 for us. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the gameplay from the Metroid Prime series by now, but with the Wii Remote, Metroid now offers the best first-person shoot control on any console, period. Now, the team at Retro has done a fantastic job of implementing gesture-based controls using the Wii Remote for everything from flipping switches to using Samus's grapple beam. They've also applied it to Metroid's unique visor system, as Jackie's about to show us. With it, you can switch visors on the fly by simply holding down the minus button and gesturing to a different part of the screen. And just as easily, you can drop back and naturally come back into fighting. It's very simple. As you can see, uh, the Morph Ball is making a return in the game. The, the area where the control really comes together, though, is in battle. I think Jackie's got a few friends waiting for her just beyond this door. With the Wii Remote, it could not be easier to simply aim and fire at the enemies you encounter. But Metroid Prime 3 takes it one step further, because what the team has done is they've implemented lock-on free aiming. And what that allows you to do is you lock onto a target with the Z button, and that becomes your orbit point. You can strafe around it easily. But unlike past Metroid games, while you're locked on, you still have the ability to aim anywhere on screen that you want. They've also included three sensitivity settings. So control is going to feel natural for everyone from a first-time first-person shooter player to PC shooter vets. And since the controls are so good, they lend themselves to intense battles like these. But as you can see, Samus is going to need her hyper mode here in order to handle all of these enemies. What she can do is enter this new state, hyper mode, by injecting an energy tank into her new PED suit. Her weapons become absolutely devastating, but it comes at a price. Staying in hyper mode too long, and she will be, she'll become corrupted, entirely corrupted. So players are going to have to balance and juggle ultimate power with the ultimate price. So with revolutionary first-person control and incredibly intense combat, along with everything you've ever loved about Samus, I think you're going to find that Metroid Prime 3 is not just the biggest first blockbuster first-person game you're going to be playing this fall, it's the best.